Did you know that battery manufacturing costs could drop by over 50% in the next few years? And that's not just a small improvement. We're talking about potentially half the cost of what makes your EV or home battery so expensive today. In this video, I'm going to show you the revolutionary dry printing technology from Saku that's making this possible and how their Cavian platform is completely changing how batteries are made. And it could mean much cheaper EVs and home battery systems sooner than you think. And for consumers that are considering either one, this could mean big news and even bigger savings. The battery in your EV can make up 30 to 40% of your entire vehicle's cost. That's like buying a car where just the engine costs almost half the price. And when you think about why electric vehicles are still so expensive for the average consumer, a huge part of that comes down to how we've been making batteries for decades. You see, traditional battery manufacturing relies on what's called a wet process. And it's been the industry standard forever, but it's also a major reason why your dream EV might still be out of financial reach. This process uses toxic solvents like NMP that aren't just dangerous to work with, they also need to be completely dried out before the battery can function. And guess what that means? Massive industrial ovens that gulp down energy as part of the manufacturing process. And these wet manufacturing facilities are enormously huge. We're not talking about a workshop or even a typical factory. The equipment used in this process can stretch up to 80 meters long. That's over 260 feet. And these machines aren't just long, they're several stories tall. Try to picture that for a second. Equipment the length of a football field that towers multiple floors high and all that space doesn't come cheap which means when manufacturers need to build a new battery factory they're looking at enormous upfront costs just for the real estate and building construction even before they install a single piece of equipment and these massive factory footprints are part of what drive up the initial investment as well as ongoing operational cost which ultimately gets passed down to you when you're shopping for an EV and the waste problem in traditional battery manufacturing is another hidden cost driver that most consumers don't realize because here's something that might shock you when a battery batch of electrodes fail quality checks, all of those expensive materials often just get thrown away. There's no effective way to recover them in the wet process. Imagine making a cake with premium ingredients, dropping it on the floor, and having no choice but to toss everything in the trash, and well, that's essentially what happens with failed battery components. Every discarded batch is like watching money disappear, and guess who ultimately pays for that? You, the consumer, because these inefficiencies get built into the sticker price of every EV on the market. And the environmental cost is substantial as well. These factories don't just take up space, they're resource hogs, because the wet manufacturing process demands tons and tons of water, and energy, and it generates an enormous amount of waste that requires special handling as well as special disposal. So while your finished EV product might produce zero emissions on the road, its battery might have created significant environmental impact during its production, which all adds up to the battery bottleneck because it's the perfect storm of inefficiency, waste, and massive investment requirements that keep EVs from becoming truly affordable for most consumers. The wet process is like trying to bake a cake by first flooding your kitchen. It might work, but it's kind of messy and wasteful. And when you break it down, the traditional battery manufacturing process is stuck in the past. It's energy intensive, space consuming, and wasteful of both materials as well as money. And for every EV battery that it makes to market, there's been a long, expensive journey with multiple opportunities for things to go wrong and resources to be wasted. But what if there was a better way? Well, that better way has finally arrived and it works more like printing a document than mixing a chemical soup. And that's Saku's Cavian platform. And this is how Saku's Cavian platform is completely revolutionizing how batteries are made through a process that's as elegant as it is efficient. So let's get into how this actually works because the Cavian platform uses what they call dry printing technology because instead of mixing battery materials with toxic solvents to create a messy slurry that needs to be dried out, Saku directly applies dry electrode powder onto metal foils. This simple change eliminates entire steps from the manufacturing process while making it dramatically cleaner. Think about what this means for a second. By skipping the wet stage entirely, there's no need for those massive energy hungry drying ovens that traditional factories require. There's no handling of dangerous chemicals. There's no waiting around for solvents to evaporate. It's a direct application process that's fundamentally changing the game. And the efficiency numbers are pretty mind blowing because compared to the old way of making batteries, Saku's approach reduces factory space requirements by up to 33%, which is a third less real estate needed for the exact same battery output. And it also cuts labor requirements by 25% and slashes energy consumption by a third. 
powered as well. And these aren't minor improvements, they represent a complete rethinking of how battery production works. And one of the coolest benefits of this technology isn't even about what goes right, it's about what happens when things go wrong, because with a traditional battery manufacturing setup, if something fails quality checks, those expensive materials are basically headed to the garbage in the wet process. But with Saku's dry process, you can actually recover materials from batches that don't meet specs. And this dramatically reduces waste and keeps those valuable battery materials in production instead of in landfills. And the Cavian platform isn't just limited to one type of battery either. It's remarkably versatile, working with a wide range of cathode and anode materials. This means it's compatible with different battery chemistries from lithium ion to more advanced formulations. And the technology even allows for creating denser and multi-layered electrodes, which could lead to performance improvements beyond just manufacturing savings. And Saku hasn't been developing this in a vacuum either. They've actually built up an impressive intellectual property portfolio with over 99 patents granted or pending and over 120 trade secrets after seven years of research and development. And this isn't just a cool idea, it's a thoroughly developed manufacturing system. And what does all this add up to? Well, the Cavian platform could potentially cut battery manufacturing costs by 50 to 60%. That's not just a small efficiency gain, that's the kind of cost reduction that could make EVs competitive with gas vehicles without any subsidies. And it does this while being more environmentally friendly, using less energy and creating less waste. And Saku is already putting this technology to work through strategic partnerships because they're collaborating with major battery manufacturers to refine the dry printing technology for mass production. They're also working with Quebec-based Electrion to scale up production of aluminum ion based batteries for grid systems showing this isn't just for EVs but potentially for home energy storage as well and the company has achieved several significant firsts with their technology because they've created the first fully functional printed lithium metal battery which is the first printed and patterned lithium metal anode and the first printed lithium metal battery in a custom form factor and they're not stopping there they're exploring additional cost cutting innovations like battery cells without traditional metal foils and using cheap polymer composites for current collectors. And we'll talk about how these innovations also increase efficiency through their unique design capabilities. But first, if you're enjoying this content so far, please hit the like button for the algorithm and consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. It is much appreciated and it's a huge help in supporting the channel if you found this content enjoyable. So beyond those cost cutting innovations we just discussed, there's a design revolution happening that most of us haven't even considered because for generations we've designed our devices around batteries instead of designing batteries for our devices, which is a limitation so fundamental, we stop noticing it. When was the last time you questioned why your phone, laptop, or even your power tools all have the same boxy look? Well, it's because traditional batteries dictate design, not the other way around, and Saku's Cavian platform completely flips this constraint on its head. Imagine batteries that can be custom designed in virtually any shape or size to integrate seamlessly into your products. This isn't just a manufacturing curiosity, it fundamentally challenges how we've designed electronics for decades, because your next phone might have a battery that curves around components filling every nook and cranny of previously wasted space, which means this capability could transform batteries from a limiting factor into an integral design component, allowing us to create ultra thin batteries the size of credit cards powering sleek portable devices or curving power cells that wrap perfectly around the contours of an electric vehicle's frame. The practical impact is massive because you get more battery capacity in the same space or the same capacity in a much smaller footprint. And if you think about what this means for your everyday gadgets, your smartphone could last two days instead of one without getting any bulkier and your laptop might finally make it through that cross country flight without you having to hunt for an outlet. And in addition, your power Power tools could deliver the same performance while becoming noticeably lighter and more ergonomic and comfortable to use. And for EVs, this design flexibility is an absolute game changer because right now, most electric vehicles have large rectangular battery packs that designers have to work around. But with Saku's technology, batteries could conform to the natural space within the vehicle structure, maximizing energy storage without compromising on interior space or driving dynamics, which means cars with longer ranges without the bulky battery compartments that were used to see. And there's more to these custom shapes than just ergonomics because the geometric flexibility in electro design could actually improve battery performance too because by optimizing the shape of electrodes to increase surface area, manufacturers could actually enhance battery efficiency as well as power output, which is like the difference between a flat sheet of solar panels and one that can actually track the sun. It's the same materials but dramatically better results through smarter design and these battery innovations can
can also make a huge difference for homeowners that are considering energy storage systems because current home batteries are basically big rectangles you mount on your wall or garage floor. But with custom designed batteries, you could literally have systems that tuck neatly into unused corners or even integrate invisibly into your home's architecture. Imagine energy storage that doesn't require sacrificing valuable space inside your home. And those polymer composites Saku is exploring aren't just about cost reduction. Switching from metals to these cheaper materials could potentially drop the cost of current collectors by a whopping 75%. But there's another benefit that might matter even more to homeowners. These polymer based components are fire retardant, helping to suppress thermal runaway and reduce ignition risk, which is a significant safety upgrade for technology that's literally sitting in your home. And the best part, we might not have to wait decades to see these benefits because the commercial implementation of Saku's technology could begin influencing consumer products within the next three to five years because this isn't some distant future technology. It's coming soon enough that it might actually influence your next major purchase. So for homeowners thinking about battery storage in the next five years, this could translate into systems costing half as much while fitting more elegantly into your home. And if you're planning to buy an EV in the next few years, this could be the breakthrough that finally brings down those prices to match conventional vehicles without relying on government incentives. So we've seen how Saku's groundbreaking dry printing technology could completely transform the battery landscape. But remember, the ultimate goal here isn't just better batteries, it's making sustainable energy accessible to everyone. And for this vision to become reality, manufacturing and material costs need to drop even further. The impact extends well beyond electric vehicles, because if you think about home batteries becoming affordable enough for the average homeowner or grid scale storage that makes renewable energy more reliable and even longer lasting devices in your pocket. If you're planning any energy upgrades for your home, staying informed about these innovations could save you thousands. And let me know what you think in the comment section below. If you'd like to learn about other battery breakthroughs that might affect your next energy purchase, that might affect your next battery decision. And don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you found this content helpful.